Everyone who ran the Spartan Sprint in the Bahamas has a story. One try, ring the bell. And how was your time? Oh, close to two hours, I'd say. But Earl Granville's story is different. It's your 16th Spartan, right? Correct. So what is it about Spartan or obstacle racing in general that appeals to you? I don't know what it was about it, but it was just the challenge of it and realizing, man, I'm doing this, these very physical activities with, with one leg. June 3rd, 2008. Granville, then a U.S. Army Staff Sergeant, was on patrol in Afghanistan when his vehicle was hit by a roadside bomb. Well, I woke up, my, uh, my legs, or my feet were, looked backwards. I lost my leg through the knee on my left side. My right leg was very salvaged. I had a lot of pins and rods and needles in this guy as well. So, but I got lucky, that's the only way to put it. Two soldiers in the vehicle were killed. As devastating as the injury was for Earl, the incident had a profound effect on his twin brother, Joe. They had joined the Pennsylvania National Guard together, straight out of high school. While we were in boot camp, 9-11 happened. Uh, graduated boot camp, we went right to Bosnia together. We both volunteered for Iraq together. I decided to volunteer in my third deployment on my own, and Joe stayed back. He felt guilty that he wasn't deployed with you? Did he think he could have helped you, saved you? I know Joe's mindset was, um, I should have been there. I'm like, you know, what the hell were you going to do, Joe? Like, there's, you know, like, you could have been killed, too. You told him that? Yeah, and he knows that. You know, we were twins, but Joe was, he played that role of the older brother throughout our whole lives. So when this happened, I think he just took it all on, like I should have did something. But in reality, there's nothing he could have did. Overwhelmed by guilt and post-traumatic stress, Joe Granville took his own life on December 18th, 2010. You lose him, and then what does that do to you? Well, I, just got, I got depressed myself. I was just drinking a lot, and um, you know, I just had a downward spiral. Did you think of taking your own life? There was a moment that thought was in my head, to be honest with you. But uh, there's one thing that changed it was Joe's friends used to always talk about how I, he would never tell me what he thought of me. He never would. But they used to say, like, he thought the world of you. So I thought if he's looking at me now, drinking my life away, would he still be proud of me? And I think that's what helped me move on forward. So that's when I did my first OCR in honor of him. And then it just snowballed from there. I just kept challenging myself with this, you know, with with my leg and I kept going on and on. Did you think of him when you crossed that first finish line? Absolutely. You know, he's on my arm every day. What was on your arm? Oh, it's his, his That's picture. his picture on your yeah, bracelet. Yeah, show right there. What does it say? It's just his picture and his, um, you know, his rank staff sergeant Joe Granville and his, his birthday and his death day. So you cross that finish line and you, you see that? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty awesome. <laughs> With his focus now on fitness, Earl starts most days at the CrossFit gym in his hometown of Scranton, Pennsylvania. All right, athletes, let's bring it in, get ready for this workout. This trainer is Tom Casey. He pushes every athlete in here just by being who he is. I'm so blessed to have him here, and he makes me a better coach. He's taught me so much. I only hope that I've taught him half as much as he's taught me. Earl is also earning his college degree in counseling and social work. He'll use it to help fellow vets, spreading the word on depression awareness and working on suicide prevention. I had to get a lot of counseling after Joe died. I mean, it helped me get better. The moments I didn't want to get out of bed, and I, don't want, I didn't want to live like that anymore. I feel like I have to help myself to get there, and that's the only way it's going to get done. There are some moments where obviously having two legs would be a lot easier. But that doesn't mean I'm not going to do it still. You know, it might take me a little longer, but I'm still going to cross that finish line. 